capitalize on the wood's specific qualities without relying on any kind of metal. The traditional Japanese wooden buildings with structures are assembled by the Kikumi technique which can withstand disasters like earthquakes for centuries. Today, Abo, a carpenter who specializes in building wooden houses, will make a model of a quadruple plug joint. That is one of the most incredible of the Kigumi technique. Today, I will make a model of a quadruple plug joint. Typically, in a quadruple plug joint, Tenons are inserted into one point from all four directions and further secured from slipping out. So the cross-sectional size of the mortise becomes quite large. We use large pillars so that even when we cut large mortises to allow beams to be inserted from all four sides. This does not compromise the pillar's strength. Large lintels are inserted into large pillars. The model of this quadruple plug joint is based on a precedent from the Hara residence, a vernacular traditional Japanese style house called a minka. The original pillar was quite large and had a width of 38 centimeters. But this would have made sourcing the wood and transportation for this exhibition tricky. As a result, for this central pillar, Diakokubasira, we have used a width of 30 cm. Zelkova as a material. The Zelkova tree is a deciduous broadleaf tree, which annually sheds its leaves in autumn. Generally, Large traditional Japanese style houses are constructed with heavy and solid materials designed to withstand typhoons and storms. Zelkova is used for the central pillar and lintels as it is well suited for these purposes. The only thing is, the wood is challenging to work with because it's very hard. These days, we use power tools. However, carpenters didn't have such tools in the past, so it is likely shaping the joint would have been extremely tough, carving the wood little by little. Assembling the quadruple plug joint. When a lintel is inserted, this means the lintel itself will twist. It is unacceptable to have a weak joint that gives in to twisting. What kind of mortise will resist such torsional forces? Carpenters think about these things in great detail. How we can prevent deformations in wood from causing joint failure. We take all of these into consideration when we make connecting joints and tenons. Tools for carving a quadruple plug joint. The type of wood most commonly used by carpenters is Japanese cedar. It is used both as a structural and building material. Following Japanese cedar is Hinoki cypress, which is slightly harder. Zelkova is so hard that Hinoki cypress and Japanese cedar both pale in comparison. You must use a good quality blade to carve this kind of hardwood. Furthermore, it requires you to use heavy Japanese hammers, genno, that weigh 200 mon, or around 750 grams. These hammers were used by craftsmen in the Edo period who specialized in cutting mortises. 
Japanese cedar is soft and will flatten under pressure, so it can still be inserted even if the tenon is a millimeter oversized. Zelkova is very hard, so it simply will not go in even if the tenon is only a millimeter too large. I suspect that the craftsmen who made these joints were more skillful back in the day. Chisels will be cut into the wood at a slight angle. Even if you aim at a perpendicular angle, it won't cut straight. So you have to carve carefully, keeping to the inside, making sure the mortise doesn't become too wide. When you use a carpenter's square to check the cut, you can tell it isn't straight. In these instances, you can use a paring chisel, tsukinomi, to remove excess wood by pushing the chisel rather than striking it. We call this process Sara cleaning the area by shaving off uneven areas. A striking chisel, tatakinomi, does not actually cut the wood. It is more akin to splitting the wood using a wedge. As you clean up the joint surface with a paring chisel, tsukinomi, the striking chisel's blade marks will emerge, so you must proceed carefully. Zelkova is about three times harder than this Hinaki Cypress, so it will take longer and wear out your chisels. <laughs> 